What is up, everybody? Jay's here with Jaspies. We just sold out 23-24 Topps Chrome Basketball Hobby. Three box break. Pick a team number 17, guys. And again, guys, we're giving away the Spurs. How to get entered? Just buy two teams. Have two teams in the break. Get you an entry, guys. Remember, if you only have one team, you not get entered, guys. And then 17, 18, 19, 20 are from the same case. We actually did number 21st. I don't know why we did, though. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. But uh, let's do the randomizer first, guys, to see who gets the Spurs. So we're going to alphabetize. And like I said, we did do a pack filler, guys. So obviously... People that um, that won teams from the pack failure. If you won two, you'll get a chance. All right, Alan at two with six, so that's three. Chat Tiger only won one, unfortunately. Same thing with Dennis, so not in, but thanks for giving it a shot, though. Good luck, though. You guys have some teams there that can get some nice hits, though. EA with four, so that's two entries. Eugene with just one. Matt with just one there. Michael with eight, so that's four entries. Then Nicholas won two, so Nicholas, you have a chance. And then, of course, Raymond won three, so give you one chance out of the out of the three. And then Richard has two, so that's an entry there. All right, so out of the possible 15, it was actually only 12, so pretty good odds for you guys. All right, there we go. Roll it. Six and three, nine times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Michael. There you go, Mikey. Six and three, nine, nine. You just won. The San Antonio Spurs. Throw you in there. A little plus sign there for you, man. All right. Awesome possum. We're good to go. Oh. Tez Johnson with a freaking 80 plus yard touchdown punt return. Alright, guys. Well, like I said, we did break number 20, but 17, 18, 19 right here, guys. So we got three stacks of three. One, two, three, four, five, six to see which three boxes we use here, guys. Good luck. And it's going to be one. So one, two, we're going to go with the left side. So these two here will be for breaks 18 and 19. show you guys the list there there we go
All right, Devin Booker. To 149. And a James Naji certified rookie there autograph. That's going to go to the Charlotte Hornets and Matt. We got Bam Adebayo to 299. Hogs, Hogasaw, Keontae George. And then a coast to coast Bradley Beal. Out of 50. Rudy Gobert to 299. Negative J-Dub. And then we got a Scoot Henderson. Nice, to 349. That's going to Portland. Go to Nicholas. Dame Dollar Dame. Wemby insert. Tony Parker, their gold, three out of fifty. It's gonna go to the Spurs and Michael. Should have an autograph here. Nice, Jaime Jaquez. Nice, first time I pulled him actually. Heat going to Alan Matsui. And a Chris Murray. Really? The budget was only a hundred million dollars? That sounds very cheap. I wonder if they must have recorded most of the stuff in house in the same place over and over again, and then also too probably not much digital. But yeah, Beetlejuice obviously I feel like was gonna do well. I just never would have thought the budget was a hundred million. I would have thought maybe like two, three, maybe more obviously. Especially with like a lot of the, you know what though? I wonder if they kind of kept it like old school where some of it obviously looks very fake, but you know, that's, that's just the way it was back in the day and people loved it, you know? They didn't actually use, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So th that's probably what, ha I mean, I haven't seen it, but yeah, I assume maybe that's probably what they did. If they did it like the original, they probably saved a shit ton of money. Because you would think in this day and era they can really make it look real. And obviously pretty cool. You know? That's awesome though. Good for them. Alright, next box. We got Carmelo. I'll wait for it to come out of my streaming platform that I use. Jason Williams. And then a Scoot Anderson autograph. Wasn't expecting that one there. But hey, nice break there for Nicholas and the Blazers. Pedro Stojakovic. Liam Robbins. Bradley Beal. Wemby. Mm -hmm. 
Leonard Miller to 99. Nas Reed. And Andre Jackson Jr. Ben Simmons. Sean Cam. dropped it yeah well I think this is the time to do it I mean people are looking for like sequels and old school like movies to be remade like I heard they're remaking the Goonies or they're making the Goonies too. I heard today I don't know if it's true but I mean with the success with the success of re revamped movies slash sequels I mean why not Yeah, the crow is kind of tough. I mean, especially how the way the first one was, like, it ended, right, with the actor, but... Um, I mean, you're going to try and fail with some of them, but... I'm sure some people were, like, happy they even tried it, but... You know, it's, it's hard to uh, remake or continue on. Here we go, guys. Last box. Timmy Allen to two ninety nine. Then we got Jalen Wilson there. Should be for the Brooklyn Nets. Right, Michael. Bryce Sensible. Tim Hardaway Jr., Yanto de Compo. And again, guys, I'm not sure what was hit in the first three boxes with Joe, but got to figure there's probably some stuff hiding. This one did have that Scoot Henderson auto in the three boxes, but. We have not hit any Wembys. Definitely still some Wemby chances. Siakam. Chris Paul of 65. I just think it's so funny is that like a lot of actors that create these you know movies and especially if they're comedies I just feel like us fans always want them to make a second or a third you know and continue it on but 
most of the time those guys never want to do it again. <laughs> or it's like, I guess they're just content with what happened or they're just like, nah, I'm good. That part of my life is over. But I just feel like sometimes you don't get, you don't capitalize on shit like that. Like, but again, I guess if it's not for money for them. But there's a right time and a right moment to do it. And sometimes when it's like 10 years later, 15 years later, it's kind of tough. Derek Lively, I'm the same way. Always wanted sequels and third movies, whatever, etc. But I just think it's funny. A lot of actors are just like, nah, I don't want to do it. I'm cool with just the first one being a masterpiece. And then us fans get upset, of course, because they're like, what? Why? You're so dumb. You make so much money. All right, guys, so there you go. Derek Lively Auto here. We got a Scoot, Jaime Alquez. Pretty decent autographs, actually. Uh, but like I said, I still feel like we might be hiding some stuff, out, depending on what happened in the first three. So next one's in the store, guys. Halfway there, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.